What's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again today with another highly requested tutorial. Today we are going to show you how to sample music from YouTube. So let's go ahead and begin. Now, if you are a Mac user, the application you want to use is called Soundflower. However, if you're a PC user, Soundflower doesn't work on PCs, so you'll have to download an alternative. That means finding something like Jack Audio or using virtual audio cable, which is something I used when I had a PC. Now don't worry, don't panic, I'm going to show you where to find all of these programs and how to install them. So let's begin. Now, what you see on your screen right now is the site where Mac users can download Soundflower. It also comes with an explanation of how to download it, how to install it on your PC, or excuse me, on your Mac, and how to use it. So you can scan that at your own leisure, but I'm basically going to summarize it for you. You go down to the bottom and you find the Soundflower DMG file, like so. You click it and you download it. Now, I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again, but I'm going to show you what to do from there after you download it. So as you can see, it's on my desktop. I double click it and I install it. The install is real simple. It'll only take a couple of seconds. But after you do it, the important thing to do from there is to open your audio MIDI settings on your Mac. Now, as you can see, I've already pulled it up. You can either pull it up by going to your system preferences or typing in audio MIDI setup in your spotlight feature at the top right corner of your Mac. However, once you have your audio MIDI set up ready, what you need to do is you need to go to the bottom left hand corner of the screen and click the plus symbol. And where it says create aggregate device and create multi output device, click create multi output device. Then on the multi output device, what you need to do is select built in output and Soundflower 2 channel. And there you have it. After doing so, you've successfully installed Soundflower. Now from there, I'm going to show you how to take that, set up your inputs and outputs in MPC, and then sample from YouTube. So let's head on over to the MPC application. The first thing you want to do is you want to check your preferences, okay? All right, you see our input is Soundflower 2 channel and our output is multi-output device. Now that, you, now that you know that's okay, what you need to do now is you need to go to your system preferences and make sure that your sound card settings are right so that the audio is actually being recognized as coming through Soundflower. So you go over to your system preferences like so. Click on sound. Now I'm recording from a preamp right now, so my inputs and my outputs are preamps. But again, to sample using Soundflower, I put my input as Soundflower 2 channel. Okay. At this point, you should have your inputs and outputs together. So I'm going to be quiet and go ahead and sample the audio. Excuse me one second as I re-put my inputs and outputs to the same as yours so as not to confuse you. And then I'll go ahead and sample the audio and talk to you afterwards. Give me one second. And there you have it. 
As you can see, you have a newly recorded audio file, and from there you can go ahead and chop it up and do whatever you need to. And again, if you're a PC user, Soundflower doesn't work. Don't worry, we've got you covered. We'll list the alternatives in the description below. Once again, this is Drum Machine Addicts. Don't forget to like, share, tell a friend to tell a friend, and subscribe to our page so we can keep giving you content. We'll see you next Friday with a new episode. Peace.